Hello, my name is Samantha Glasswell and I work for Bassett Law District Council at Bassett Law Museum. I took up the post of curator in 2004. As with any job, there were a number of challenges. Bassett Law covers 637 kilometres square, which is 264 miles, of beautiful North Nottinghamshire, where 108,000 people were living in 2001. The museum is based in Retford, which has a population of 21,000, but Bassett Law also incorporates the town of Worksop with its 39,000 people. Both towns are now larger. Bassett Law Museum had three and a half full-time equivalent posts. So, how could we serve that number of people and such a large area? This was challenge number one. I soon found out that until 2003, there had been a museum in Worksop. Objects had been dispersed though to different places and museums since the 1960s and the local history finally came to Retford when the museum eventually shut. The people of Worksop were not impressed. How could Bassett Law Museum create a meaningful presence in Worksop? This was challenge number two. One object remained in the library and museum building when the museum closed. This was the Arundel Marble, otherwise known as the Worksop Torso or the Worksop Giant. This high relief carving originally formed part of a frieze showing a battle between the Greek gods and the giants. It was part of the great altar of Zeus in Pergamon in modern day Turkey. The altar was built around 200 BC and after many adventures, this torso arrived in Worksop in the early 1700s. When Worksop Museum closed, the torso was left behind because it was heavy and fragile. Moving it anywhere would be very expensive and dangerous for the object. A number of suggestions for its future were made, some even hinting that the sculpture was too good for Worksop. What was to be done with our gentle giant? Challenge number three. Challenge number four is shared by almost all museums in Britain almost all of the time. How do museums justify their keep? In a world of ever decreasing budgets, museums have diversified their audiences to serve the greatest number of people possible. School groups in term time, holiday activities in the holidays are just as important now as permanent displays and temporary exhibitions. Museums now believe that they are a vehicle for communities to tell their own stories and enrich the objects they hold with the voices of the present and not just the past. The impact which museums have on we humans is also more wide ranging than once realised. One movement which has grown out of these ideas is the therapeutic museum. It has long been recognised that museums have many health and well-being benefits, but this is now increasingly being backed up by research. See Health and Wellbeing Museums Toolkit produced by Canterbury Museums and Galleries. Benefits include improved mental well-being by reducing social isolation, developing confidence and self-esteem, reducing anxiety and depression, improving mood and increasing levels of life satisfaction. Within its resources, Bassett Law Museum has encouraged and supported well-being in the past and we have worked with adults with learning disabilities people suffering from poor mental health, as well as creating gossip boxes which can be used in reminiscence sessions or by social groups. However, our endeavours are often dependent on securing extra temporary funding. This means that we develop projects which fit with grant requirements and that we are often not able to make lengthy commitments. In 2016, I was invited to a meeting at Aurora Wellbeing Centre, who were then putting together a bid to work on the library and museum building in Worksop. This resulted in a fruitful partnership, 
which Bassett Law Museum saw as being very important in widening our reach to Retford and beyond. Result. Eight years later, and a global pandemic, just to make life interesting, we are nearing the end of phase one of our partnership project. The National Lottery Heritage Fund, through the money raised by people playing the National Lottery, many thanks to everyone, paid for the construction of the Aurora Heritage Hub. This has allowed many objects from Bassett Law Museum to come home to Worksop. The hub includes a virtual museum of images and information which bring even more of these artefacts within the reach of Worksop. The Heritage Hub displays can be changed and the virtual museum can be added to so the hub can grow and develop with the communities who use and direct it. Result, the second. The Worksop torso, giant Arundel marble, was a key element of the Heritage Hub from the outset and its presence in the building probably strengthened the case for the funding of the project. The National Lottery Heritage Fund paid for the cleaning and the moving of the torso by the expert company Skillingtons, as well as its display and interpretation by image makers. The work was facilitated by Ruthie Boys, Aurora Heritage Engagement Manager. However, let's be brutally honest, a rear view of a worn torso without arms, legs or a clear face is very difficult for anybody but a specialist to get excited about. At this point, Chris Parker from White Sky Design suggested using the torso as a screen to project images onto. The project team loved the idea but had no budget to accomplish it. Bassett Law Museum applied for additional funding and was successful, resulting in the interactive you can have a go with today. This was supported by public funding by the National Lottery through the Arts Council England. The grant gave us another opportunity and this was to work with people from Aurora Wellbeing Centre to offer therapeutic art sessions. Art psychotherapist Bethany Thompson developed and facilitated a textile art creation using the theme Unbroken. Motifs created are some of the choices available in the interactive. I'd hoped to be part of the process, but Bethany explained that this was not appropriate in the circumstances due to the need to create a safe space for participants. I learned a great deal from the project including the fact that sometimes museum collections can be with people when museum staff can't. Again, Ruthie managed the installation on site, which was made even more enjoyable for her by building works, listed building regulations and projectors that did not do what they were supposed to. Thank you, Ruthie, so very, very much. Our gentle giant is now safe conserved and better interpreted than ever before. Ruthie's conversations with Aurora visitors and users have also enriched our knowledge of the torso's life in Worksop, how he was used and misused. Have we met challenge four, are museums worth their keep? I must leave that decision to you. The partnership with Aurora Wellbeing has had great benefits for Bassett Law Museum. It has extended our coverage of the district, enabled objects to be brought back to Worksop and ensured the safety of an internationally significant artefact. I hope it has been a positive experience for Aurora and that we have achieved together something that would have been impossible alone. I believe the project to show that museums are worthwhile and relevant in the difficult world we live in. The range of benefits from museums and collections extends from championing pride of place to helping us understand society and developing empathy for our fellow humans. And by no means least, for a few precious moments, museums and their objects can even provide a distraction for you from your cancer 
or your loved one's cancer. Thank you.